first we need a matrix with the dimensions we want to fill with the value. So to do this, we have to actually use these squiggly line braces. So in this case, I want to make a 2 by 2. So enter 2, comma 2, close the braces, and then I want to store it. And I have to store it as dimensions. So I have to go to the matrix menu. From there, I'm going to go to the math the long way, sorry about that, and choose 3 for dimensions. And I need to save it as a name. So I'm going to give this, I'm going to make this matrix J. And now we have matrix J with the dimensions which are 2 by 2. Now from there we want to fill matrix J with each element as a certain number. I'm feeling lucky, so let's choose 7. So we're going to go to the matrix menu, go to the math, and then we want to fill. We have to enter the value we want. We're going to enter each element will be a 7, and then comma, and then the name of the matrix we're going to fill. In this case, it's going to be J. The last one, which is 2 by 2, and just press Enter. Now, to see the work we've done, we can select matrix J. I could have done this shorthand by just going to zero, but for those people unfamiliar, we do this. And notice it's a 2 by 2. All the elements are 7. There's another way to do this. If you already have a matrix with the dimensions you want, you could have chosen fill the value you wanted and the matrix to fill. Another way to do this is to make an identity matrix first with the dimensions you want, and then choose the fill option.